Palm Beach in Southern Florida. With its inlets and launches, it is known for a multitude of species. Snapper, tarpon, marlin, and snook, to name but a few. But amidst the calm Florida breeze and warm sun, lurks the ultimate expeditionist, the infamous Tommy McGrath. On this trip, however, Tommy will target the formidable predators of the North Atlantic Ocean. Bull sharks, stingrays, and the enormous Goliath groper, as well as black tip sharks that arrive in the shallow waters of Palm Beach in their thousands from January to March. There will be many obstacles that will have to be overcome throughout these adventures. But with the help of his companions Justin and Casey, Tommy is confident of success. They'll need to work together in order to be efficient. Combining their many years of fishing experience and knowledge gained on countless voyages, if they are to have any chance of overcoming the beasts that lurk in these waters. Our journey starts in Illinois, where Tommy, Casey and Justin prepare to travel over 1,200 miles to get to their destination. From there, it all begins. <laughs> Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode, another video in another series. It feels great to even say that. And also, thank you to David Attenborough. You pretty much covered everything I had to say. Guys, he will be linked in the description below. Awesome David Attenborough impressionist, and he pretty much covered everything I had to say. I am super excited though. I've not flown anywhere since last January. It's been over a year, and we're gonna be going down to Palm Beach, Florida for 10 days. After I got the approval from Follow the Action, I called Casey, I called Justin. I'm like, yo, you guys have to come do this trip with me. They booked their tickets, and they're gonna be coming down with me. Before we kick things off, I wanna say, Today. Oh, come on, car. This whole series is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. They're an outdoor apparel company that literally covers you from fishing and hunting. They got the most badass custom hand drawn designs for the everyday outdoorsman. Just go check it out. If you guys do want to get anything, use promo code McGrathFish to save 20% off on your entire order. Guys, I'm beyond pumped. As you can tell, you can hear it in my voice. I'm absolutely pumped. I mean, I just can't wait. The limo actually comes at 2 a.m. We're being picked up in a limo. Had to do it for the boys. We had to ball out, do it right. And I actually told Casey we were being picked up in like a town car or something. So it's going to be pretty priceless to see his reaction too. So to go down with my two good buddies, do a trip like this that we've actually been talking about literally for over a year to do actually all together is pretty iconic and just going to be a one hell of a time. I want to say thank you to all of you guys for clicking on my videos day in, day out. And I really hope you guys enjoy this series because it's going to be one of my favorite to film. If you guys do want to support me any more than you are now, you guys can go to foundation.com slash McGrath fishing will be right here on March 15th. My full apparel is dropping. We got hoodies, shirts, sweatpants, and shorts. I put a ton of time and honestly all that. And so did my manager, Paul. We honestly, we balled out for it. All the hoodies are going to be champion. The shirts are quality. The shorts and the sweatpants are the same shorts and sweatpants. I literally wear fishing every single day filming these videos. So thank you for the bottom of my heart. All of you guys. All right, Casey and Justin will be here in a little bit. All my stuff is packed. I gotta start bringing some stuff out. So I'm gonna put down the camera. Here we go. If you guys aren't, subscribe to the channel right now to follow the series, because it's gonna be epic. Here we go. what do you think about the David Attenborough impressionist who just dropped that? Sick, man. It sounds just like him. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be, what is he on National Geographic? Well, they already heard him. Oh, they did? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> All right, guys, the boys are here. Justin's actually sitting in the passenger seat of my truck right now because he's probably going to fall asleep for a bit. We would be in my basement, but my basement got flooded. That's a story for a different day, but Casey's here as well. He's got his camera, and we're pretty much going to be waiting for the limo now. I think we got like two hours until the limo or something like that. I don't know. I thought it was a certain time in my intro when I said, but apparently it wasn't. We got everything, though. We got bags. We got a rod case over there. We got my suitcase right here, fresh Samsonite white one. Justin's bag and then the rod case is inside. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, well, I'll talk to you guys in just a short few moments and yeah. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, this is insane. So I got this limo and it was supposed to be a 
a nine passenger stretch, but it wasn't supposed to be like, like this. It wasn't supposed to be an SUV. And when he was pulling in, my jaw dropped, my ball sank. All of the above just happened. So we are headed to the airport right now. It is 2 a.m. And I got like this little tickle coming down south right now and I'm just so excited. So we are gonna actually cheers you guys for an amazing trip and hopefully we catch a lot of fish. Justin, what do you think? Excited, but very tired right now. Can you see? Buddy, I'm what? excited. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> if you would have fell right there, that would have been gold. <laughs> All right, guys, we're pulling up to Chicago O'Hare Airport. I want to give her honestly a big thank you and a huge shout out to Eminem Limousine. They hooked it up huge with this limo and SUV stretch. If you guys want to book anything, wedding parties, anything like that, be sure to contact Eminem Limousine. Obviously, if you're in the Illinois area, they are an awesome company and they gave us a great deal and everything else. So their link will be in the description below. So guys, be sure to check it out, Eminem Limousine. And also thank you to you guys and everything else. So here we go. Hey, what's going through your head right now? Getting pumped up, man. It's gonna be some good action when we get down there. I'm ready for some sun and warm weather. We're leaving snow, bud. I know. All right, bags are checked. We're ready to go. And now we're just kind of waiting to go through security. All right, security went good, but we just went down the whole wrong terminal. It's like a mile walk. So we're in the right terminal, but not the right gates. It, this doesn't make any sense. The guy asked, no offense, super big asshole. All right, we are boarding our plane now. Next time you guys see me turn on this camera, we will be in the, uh, the sunshine state. So I will see you guys there. There's the lighting and there it is. All right guys, well, we made it. We are here waiting for our bags. I am seriously like half asleep. I slept the entire time. I slept like right after I like, take up. Nice. All right, never mind. I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Justin, how are you feeling? I'm feeling super excited now. I was super tired earlier, but I got good sleep in the limo, good sleep in the airplane, and I'm ready to go now. Please? I'm very happy to be here. Um, Glad that we got all our stuff in line in the airport when we could. A little pissed off that they almost broke one of my reels, but it is what it is. Just glad to be here. All right, guys, I'll keep you guys updated. Once we get the car, I'll start talking to you guys a lot more, which has been an absolute shit show for a while. So once we get this car, get all of our stuff loaded up, we'll be stress-free. Alrighty, guys. Well, we got our car, that Chevy truck, though. I have no idea what year this is, to be honest. Uh, we are gonna make the drive to to go to the bait shop now so I can buy a rod and reel. Guys, the trip finally begins. I'm actually starting to get in a, like, a lot better mood. I was just, a lot of standing, a lot of walking, and just waiting for just everything. I mean, I don't know, the shuttle, the, like just, things were just going shitty left and right, but we got the car, we're good to go. We're completely on our own now from here on out. We got the air on already just because, I mean, it's what, Justin, like 83? Yeah, it's beautiful. So 83 degrees and I just, I'm excited to be in Florida. I'll definitely be a little bit more upbeat once we can just kind of get there, start setting up, spooling our reels and doing things like that. But all right, I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, having a lot better mood. I got a nice meal in me. Well, this is actually pretty cool. We have, I'm pretty sure it's a 2021 Chevy Silverado. So that was pretty badass. I sounded a little bit pissed off earlier because the car company we went through, I'm not even gonna throw it out there. It's just, they really us over on these prices. Like the prices skyrocketed like another 400 on an additional 400 just because of a young renter's fee. And plus like these random other bullshit charges they were getting us on. So I gotta go through it. We gotta call We actually have to go to the one buy our hotel but you know what that we are down in florida the sunshine state is literally beautiful justin's in it already in like a cutoff pretty much it's got to be at least 83 right now 85 degrees but i'm finally actually in a good mood though for real like i was never in a bad mood i was just like really frustrated and stressed out driving and just like 
I was hungry, tired. I mean, I'm on three hours of sleep just from the plane ride, but we're here, guys. This series is going to be epic. I'm excited. My butthole's tingling a little bit. I honestly just cannot wait to get a line in the water. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drive to the hotel, string up some rods, get ready. We're going to be going to the bait shop, actually. Yep. I got to get a black tip rod. I'm going to probably ball out a little bit, not, not go too crazy, but get something nice. So then we're going to be at the hotel, string up all the rods, and then we will be out fishing today. So here we go, guys. Look, we're trying to get ready to go back to our, or trying to get ready to go to our hotel. And this idiot is clipping his f***ing toenails. It's hygiene, bro. <laughs> Respect, but come on, dude. We're, we're literally in a McDonald's parking lot. My strange addiction, you have to cut your toenails in a McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> While Tommy Phillips me. All right, guys, we're at Seven Seas in West Palm Beach. I'm gonna be going with this 10.5 medium heavy ugly stick, super nice rod. I actually kind of never really been a fan of ugly stick, but this rod is actually super nice. I'm gonna go with this, and then I'm going to go with this pen in an 8,000 size, super nice reel. So this is gonna be my black tip setup. I'm gonna be good to go. This is all I need to really get for my setups down here. Everything else I'm covered with. Um, I have a decent amount of rods for the stingrays and things like that. So feeling good. Definitely gonna drop a little bit of money here but it feels good. I'm ready for this trip. We're gonna go, he's gonna string this up for me, and then we're actually gonna go back to the hotel, check in, and then we're gonna be headed out to go fish. Here we go, guys. What'd you get, bud? So I got myself a new rod clamp for the good old sender here. Gonna be used for some uh, big old rays and uh, some groupers. and. Boy, am I ready. I'm there excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate hey, welcome. it. Welcome. Anytime, guys. All right, guys. We're checked in. I literally hate this mask so much. You guys have no idea. But we're literally about to check. Or we're actually already checked in. All we're going to do is now get our stuff up to our room, spool up a couple of reels, and we're going to be out fishing. So let's get this done. All right, guys. We are in our hotel room. We're getting all our rods ready. Justin and Casey are getting their senators all good to go, too. Those are, you guys will. If you guys don't know what a senator is, they're just bigger reels. You guys will see. We'll kind of go over it and I'll have Justin Casey talk about theirs. But the room is kind of a shithole right now because we literally have stuff everywhere. So I will give you guys just like a quick tour of walking the room. Only, again, it's little, there's stuff everywhere right now, but it's all fishing shit. So got the white claw going. I'm done driving for the day. It's like this size of the spool, this senator. Check it out. 8,000 size spinning reel, pen. Super nice handle. Got the ugly stick, big game. My first ugly stick I've ever bought in my life. I'm going hard today. What time is it? It is 3.39. That's the time update for you guys, 3.39. You guys all ready? Yeah. Rock and roll. Um, we're not going to fit in the elevator with these. Yo, this is going to be even tough. Like really tough. Seriously? Do we have to do this for six point of stairs? Alrighty, boys and girls, we are officially set up. All the rods are in the back of the truck. Justin's on nav. We are gonna be headed to the first spot. Our first targeted species is gonna be stingray. We're also gonna be going for some like jacks, barracuda, things like that, just kind of whatever's really there. And then tomorrow will be the bull sharks, black tips, and just like the bigger stuff. But for right now, we're gonna start like that. So hopefully we have a good bite tonight. It is 451, sunset is at 630. So we should have to about 7, 7.15 of light and we're probably gonna fish into the dark a little bit. I brought a nice light for this camera too, so everything will be actually lit up. I'll let you guys know when we get to the spot and we are ready. Right, guys so we are actually pretty much in like this restaurant area we just talked to some guy in valet we were parked in we couldn't park there but there are giant jacks i mean justin what were the size of some of those 20 30 pounds, 20, 30 pounds. so what we're going to do is we're going to leave the camera in here gopros only try and get a jack down the way a little bit we where we can i guess fish we think and so we're going to leave the camera in here bring the gopros grab one rod and get the hell out of here so i'll come back to you guys in a bit wish us luck 
Guys, look what we're trying to do right now to catch these fish. This is something that I've never done in Florida. It's gone this hard in shore fishing. It's always been charters. And we are, Justin's telling me to shh. Oh, another lizard. Yo, why can't, let's get to those docks. Oh. All right, guys, here we go. The first cast in Florida. No, but we can't go to in front of that charter because then he's going to say something. Oh, <gasps> Jack, Jack, Jack. Okay. Yup. <gasps> two of them, two of them. Come on, time to get him. <gasps> TC, you can see that, uh, what's it called, right? The trap? Don't yeah. snag that. Dude, this hive is yellow is key. Oh my, I'm on. I'm on guys. First fish of the Florida. Casey, move this rod, please. It's a jack. It's a nice one, too. It's off. For real? Nope. Look. Shitty lure. Broke your hook? Guys, I just lost my first Florida fish because literally the hooks popped off the lure. Look at that. Stupid. All right, guys. Spot number two. Getting a little bit darker. Sorry. 615. Guys, the goal for the first day is just one fish. I had it on, really sucks. At least try and get some bait for some bigger fish because we can also stay out later tonight and do some balloon fishing for some big shark. All right, there's this bridge over here with a, now, with a nice outgoing tide, which isn't the best conditions, but we're gonna make this work and see if we can smack something under this bridge. I need some redemption. I'm sorry about the wind too. Out of you here in no time, don't worry. Sorry. Jesse, you ready to go? Ready to go, man. Ready to catch some big fish. Make up for yesterday's disaster. I wouldn't really call it a disaster, though, remember? I'm leaving that in there. <laughs> what time even is it? <laughs> Yesterday was a travel day. We only had an hour and a half to fish. We were technically, we were fishing for three hours, but out of those three hours, we were doing a lot of walking, trying to find different spots. I did lose a jack, not my fault. The lure actually broke. So that's what you get when you buy cheap shit. And that's what I deserve, I guess, in a way. But now we're gonna be sending it down to Boca Raton to go for Barracuda Jacks, try and get our shark bait for the day. So it's super early in the morning. So we're gonna get there. We have a half hour drive, try and get some bait, do some cool fishing and just kind of catch a bunch of different species, hopefully and then use those species to catch those sharks. So it's gonna be a fun day. The first real day in Florida, it is really 5.30 in the morning. I don't think I've ever been this chipper other than the Florida Keys. So I thank you guys for clicking on my videos day in, day out. I really think you guys are gonna enjoy this series. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel to follow this along, this should be one of the best series yet. So feels great to be down in Florida, back traveling. COVID is still here in a way, but it's just not as uptight butthole right now. And it just feels great that we're down here in the great sunshine state. So I'll keep you guys updated throughout the day. I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm definitely more excited. So hey Case, let's get a word, bud. What up? Casey's Casey's back there filming his intro as well. But what do you think today? Oh dude, I'm pumped. First full day of fishing. I think we're gonna sum some big fish and I'm really excited. Well, you heard it. So I will keep you guys tuned in when we kind of get the show on the road. Justin should be down in just a few minutes. He forgot something as well. I forgot something and 
and there's a cat. So I'll see you guys in just a short moment. I also want to say thank you to Follow the Action for sponsoring this entire series. They sponsored and paid for this entire trap. Follow the Action is an outdoor apparel company that literally covers you from fishing to hunting. They got the most awesome, badass, hand-drawn, custom designs for the everyday outdoorsman. So go on followtheaction.com. Be sure to use promo code McGrathFish to save 20% off on your entire order. Also, depending when this video came out, you guys can go to followtheaction.com slash McGrathFishing. Pop it up right here, and my merch is now live. I got hoodies. I'll pop it up all right here for a quick preview. But guys, just go check it out. If you guys want to support me, I appreciate it. The only thing that my code is not active for is my apparel. You know, I thought Florida was a state with no mask mandate and all this stuff. There's just a few select places. We walked in there, and she's like, get out. You need a mask. <laughs> Guys, we had to get the monsters. We had to get the uh, some snacks for today. It's gonna be a long day, but it's gonna be a good day. Just watch. Got the snacks. Parked right over there. We, we left the camera because this is where we're fishing. We don't want to carry the camera around here, so we're actually going to be fishing this bridge. No, I'm I got to be wrapped. We gotta make it happen today, boys. All right, guys, we're gonna go wade through this water over here. See if we can find a good spot. Then we're gonna go to Justin's original spot that we're gonna drive to in a second after we try this out. Ow! I you know that'd be if a f***ing shark came just f***ing ripping up on shore. Go ahead, Justin. Yeah. Alright guys, first spot, really no success there. Casey did get one blow up on a smaller Cuda. We were kind of waiting through the water as you guys saw, just a little bit back there. So hopefully this next spot, we're gonna be more in the harbors, right? Yeah. And then we can hopefully start catching some fish. It is 7.50 right now. The day is still very young, but we need to yeah, really yeah, turn this day around fish. and catch some fish and really... Casey, the public parking's across the bridge. Where's the public parking at? Uh, I, there was something on a map, but we couldn't find it. It said across Ew. the bridge. Casey, you're in Spanish beach. No clue. So how am I supposed to help you? Casey, just All go. Right. Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> I can't help you if I don't know where you're going. Alright, bye-bye. Dude, why would you even That was ask? like world, that was like world dumbest thing right there. Alright guys, hopefully we can turn this day around now. The day's very young. Uh, I'll keep you guys tuned in, and hopefully this can be day one success.
Ich glaube, das ist ein Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see him? Yep, that's a small one. That's a small one. But we can use it as bait. <gasps> He's going for my thing. That's what I'm saying, dude. We should buy legit. We should buy, like, go buy some f***ing pilchards and buy some actual bait. I honestly have no clue what the happening, though. Like, I'm not even I'm not just spewing some bullshit. You know I don't spew bullshit. I've won every tournament in town. I've been here for 33 years and grew up in Alamorada. Holy so, shit. So whatever, I don't know who you're fishing with, but once you fish with me, you might not fish with them again. You'll make that decision. Well, do you think we could possibly work out a good deal? Well, I'm owner-operator, so of course I can shark, but you know that. You know how that all works. And then, you'll be stoked. I shot 10, 15 TV shows. <gasps> I've done Florida sports and selling almost my whole life. That's a giant. And I've won every tournament in town. That's a huge. Sorry, I'm... You can go to YouTube and find some of my stuff <gasps> under real looking. Sorry, we're shore fishing right now. There's a giant tarpon on me. Good. All right, we'll catch him. Um, what do you have available this week? Not much. Oh! <gasps> Kuda, Kuda. Nice. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Yo, that Kuda hit my shit. Yo, that guy's badass as. I think he caught 26 sailfish yesterday. Yeah, and he's he's willing to work out a deal. All right, man. Well, I look forward to this. Let's definitely so book us in for third or Wednesday the third. Perfect. And I'll call you again tonight. All right. How about that? Talk to corporate. We're going all day for seven. And you're booked for Wednesday. All right. Sounds good. I will let you know. I'll give you a call back after yeah. I talk to them and kind of let you know the final price. You got it. I'll be around. All, all right. right. Sounds good, man. See ya. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you feel lucky. Maximum capacity six passengers. Oh Live bait, eighty dollars per dozen. Wait, after Dad, Dad, Dad. Justin's got a huge tarpon. Really? Giant, giant tarpon. It broke off. How did it break off? It was huge, Dad. That thing was probably seven feet long. Damn. Ginormous, Dad. Like a f body, like f wider than us. The thing launched out of the water. It was huge. Like seriously, like something that you see like on the Cabela's wall for real. Like I'm not bullshitting you. Yeah. Justin said that was probably a 200 pound tarpon. That's a big ass fish. I remember the one I caught was about 150. That yeah. thing was huge. Yeah, that was insane. I can't believe I just saw that. Yo, that was insane, dude. Justin, I saw it. It was ginormous. All right, guys, I don't have the big camera up, but I want to give you guys a quick update. It is 9.54. Justin just probably hooked the biggest tarpon of his life even seeing one too. He hit a popper, pretty much made one large jump and then pretty much just shredded his line. Absolutely the biggest tarpon I've ever seen in my life. Like no joke, it wasn't like a, oh, it's this big. Like it was an actual giant, probably 200 to 250 pound tarpon, absolutely ginormous. Like one that you sent a wall like Cabela's. But as I was doing that, I was actually on the phone with this guy. We we're gonna actually be going out. Gave us a great deal. We kind of talked to him just, we just worked out a really great deal. So we're gonna be doing a three quarter day with him. For sharks, we're probably gonna do Goliaths with him, fi fish some shipwrecks, and yeah, so it's a lot. A lot has happened in like the last hour, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get fishing here, strap you guys back in the chest, and hopefully we turn this day around. Right, guys so we we're in the car i kind of give you that little update that was probably about 20 minutes ago we actually left that a harbor but we are going to go back later on so right now what we are going to do is go to a bait shop to get some frozen bait and hopefully some live bait but i'm going to kind of let justin take it away of what we're doing because he's going to be pretty much taking the show or handling the show today so bait's been pretty tough to catch so we're gonna go get some frozen bait from the bait shop like tommy just said and try to get some stingrays to come up uh, which would be pretty cool because they're pretty huge at the spot we're going and uh, if they have live pilchards, we'll definitely get that for the tarpon because I just hooked the giant and if it hit a popper, which is not really... How big was the tarpon? It was like 200 pounds. It was really big. Hopefully Tommy got a pic or a video of it jumping. If not, if there's not any live pilchards there, we should be able to get some at the boat ramp and we'll go back to that harbor and try to get a tarpon on some live bait. So to do this kind of like on our own, it just makes it more, I guess, sentimental in a way. So like us putting in the work to get these bites, to get these fish to bite is just pretty cool. I did have a barracuda hit my tube, but it didn't get hooked. 
And you um, saw a tarp in there too. And yeah, and we saw a really big tarp in there as well. But what was really cool, today's Monday. On Wednesday, I got another charter booked. All thank you to FTA. Like I said, Follow the Action is an awesome outdoor apparel company. Guys, check out their designs for yourself. I won't even talk about it. Just go to followtheaction.com. Check it out. And if you guys do want to get anything, use code McGrathFish to save 20% off on your entire order. But Wednesday is going to be legit. I don't want to talk about the one species we're going to be doing. I want to keep that a secret. But... We are going to be doing some sharks too and it's going to be i think we're going to catch a lot the way he's putting it i really think that it's going to be like an all-out slave fest but he gave us an awesome deal we're going out for a three-quarter day a little bit more so it should be pretty well um i'll tune back in with you guys when we get to the bait shop hey All right, guys, we're in a new spot right now. Justin, here, talk to me. We're in a new spot right now, uh, going for a big stingray. He's been getting chummed in by these guys behind us, I guess. And uh, apparently he's around this area, so we're just putting little chunks of bait out there. Let's see if we can get him. This is the first time I got this rod going, guys, so hopefully something good happens. Super nice reel. All right, so we have a bridge right over here, guys. Uh, these guys right here were saying that they're actually catching bait, but they were saying that this giant stingray, so this is a stingray spot. I was actually on the phone with my dad. I had a problem with my drone coming down, so now I'm going to have to probably get the, hopefully the DJI Mavic Air, um, but they're helping me out to try and track that package while I'm trying to create the content. First time that I get to use this rod though, so hopefully we smack something. I got a nice chunk cut bait of some mangrove snapper out there on a five out circle hook the reel is a pen clash 8000 size and then my rod is a ugly stick big water this is a 10 foot medium heavy oh my god he caught a moray yo that's actually sweet he's got an eel over there don't let that bitch off Oh, he got that deep sea rod. Yeah, Moray Eel over here. Dude, Moray is cool. Dude, Moray is cool. Go over there and film that. Here. That's sick as hell. I ain't never seen a Moray Eel over here. Sorry, guys. If a Chinese man was out here, he had a little bit of money. What do you got, bud? Freaking Moray Eel. What? A moray eel. Look at that. Let's see it. Bring it in. Justin, bring my pliers. That's crazy, dude. Oh, he's all wrapped up in your shit. Want to touch one? I know. Wait, in case I'm gonna take a story. All right, guys, we're at the next spot, the Boca Raton Inlet. There's a lot of sharks here. Last spot, we were going for those stingrays. We didn't really have any action. We didn't really see any, unfortunately. Casey did catch a moray eel that was like four or five feet long, which was pretty cool, but we're trying to kind of figure all this out on our own. I mean, really find spots. It's just a lot of stuff has not been cooperating. But remember, it's only the first day. We're at the next spot. I don't know whether if I'm gonna leave the camera in the car or not yet here but I got my rig actually all, Justin actually just tied this rig for me. Got a 12 out hook, number 15 wire, about five, four or five feet of wire. And then got about six feet of 130 pound mono to big spool of 50 pound braid. And we're gonna just drift some uh, cut bait out in the current here what, at the inlet. What kind of cut bait? Uh, we were able to get a frozen bonita, so. I'm gonna chop that up, send some baits out there. Hopefully we get some good drifts. And if we're able to, we'll, we should hook a shark. And we are ready to go. Guys, I'm excited. Again, day one, I can't believe the DJI Mavic Air is gonna be coming to Florida. We're gonna actually get to use it down here. The drone footage is gonna be absolutely next level. But yeah, guys, like I said, we're doing it all on our own. We wanna make more relatable content to you guys, not always just kind of take charters. But again, we are taking a charter on Wednesday and Thursday, and then the rest will be on our own. Our whole mission was, it's not like we're trying to go for bait, we're just, we need bait to go for sharks. Our main species is going to be sharks, but you obviously have to get bait. So having this Bonita, 
clutch. And we did hook a 200 pound tarpon on our first full day. Let's not forget that. True, true. So I mean, we have had action. It's not been a total letdown. It's just, remember, we're if coming- we ended it, it would've been a lot better. Oh yeah. No doubt about that. 100%. But so, I mean, we're getting action. It's just, we're not getting the correct species that we need for bait for sharks, but we're still having success in a way with other species. I don't know. We just really, we gotta keep pushing. Bait's been rough. For some odd reason, bait's been super rough to get. The whole reason for going for these species, again, is literally to catch these sharks because that is our main species. So once we get that, which we already have now, that Bonita, now hopefully this is where this should be like the turning point in the trip. So, all right, I'm probably gonna either leave the camera here or possibly take it with, but I got the GoPro on, got a ton of batteries. Guys, this is it. Let's do it! Go get a shark. Here we go. All right, guys, I hope you guys can hear me. I left the camera at the car because this is where, where we're at. Nice, Casey's bending over for the camera. We got the inlet with an outgoing tide. Look at these waves, they're absolutely ripping. All right, guys, here it is. Here's my rig, a little chuck of Bonita. First cast. All right, guys, we are all burnt as shit. It is 5 p.m. We're actually about to go eat at a seafood buffet. They seem like they got some quality food in there, so. What really happened today? Justin hooked a 200 pound tarpon, biggest tarpon we've ever seen. Actually hooked it even in person. Casey caught a moray eel. Saw a shit ton of other tarpon, but we really couldn't make it happen today. But again, today's only day one, so not a bad start. Honestly, at least getting some bites. Uh, we're gonna be hitting a really good spot tomorrow, and then the next two days we have charters after that we're gonna eat the seafood buffet and then head back to the stingray spot and then hopefully I'll, I'll probably be filming there as well so i'm gonna go eat and then i will talk to you guys in just a short minute oh <gasps> barracuda barracuda Where? small one right on the sir oh no just kidding it's a needlefish i don't know if you guys can see that but guys there's easily 150 pounds 200 pound tarpon right there and just has a live bait little grunt on let's check this out i'm trying to catch a bait so we can fill this little box so we have tarpon and barracuda bait. Got this needlefish on the sabiki rig. We got that to see. All right guys, so this is pretty much like the end of the day, but, and we just talked to this guy chilling on the boat, it's like a marina that said that we can drop a line where he's at. So we literally gotta sneak this one rod in right here that Justin's getting ready. Just and then there are guys, there's literally jacks, 30, 40 pound jacks, like giant fish, giant snook, and like, there's like these blue lights. So what I'm gonna do, instead of bringing my camera, I'm gonna have to film it off my phone so I can use the flash that way. And it's more discreet because this could really top off this day. We're all gonna trade off with one rod. So what I'm gonna do is just use my phone uh, I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it feels pretty good. We'll have audio and we'll have a light on there. So I'm gonna leave this in the car. No GoPros, no nothing, one rod. We're gonna bring one spoon just in case and then Justin actually has a circle hook on it with some bait. So he's gonna use that. So we're gonna risk it. This is this is for all for you guys. Here we go. Guys, look at that. <laughs> this is really insane. Justin, just tighten your drag. This is horsome. If you got 80 pound on horsome. Oh, yo, he's coming back. That one, dude. Appreciate that a ton. <laughs> Grab the tail. No, it just came off, man. Are you kidding me? Snap? No. It just 
came out. Come on. All right, guys, we are done. Back for the day, ending the official day one. We were drinking that harbor for a little bit. You guys saw that. Unfortunately, Casey didn't grab that one at the surface, but then he caught one right after that wasn't as big, probably like a quarter of the size, I would guess. Unfortunately, I don't know why, but I didn't film him actually holding the fish. So not a huge deal, but for day one, we had a lot of action, just not the action we really wanted other than that tarpon. And then the jacks at the very end, so. And the stingrays were non-existent. And the stingrays, yeah, were not even there. But I think honestly a big problem that my dad brought up on the phone to us is when Florida got super cold like a week or two ago, when that whole polar vortex shit came through, I think that just has a lot to do with it because in Justin's normal spots, there's usually barracuda everywhere and we've seen about, what, two, three barracuda max. So it's just definitely been different and we think the weather has a lot to do with that. So. Tomorrow we are going to Sebastian. If we get screwed there, I think we are absolutely f What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a pretty good episode. We're gonna keep that one species a surprise, but we are gonna be targeting sharks. This is a place that we've been wanting to fish, honestly, since we booked this trip. Casey's dry humping the truck. Go figure, Casey's never focused. I'm really excited to be here. Like I said, we've definitely been getting our, where's the sun? There we go. We've definitely been getting our ass kicked. As you can tell, we are literally burned to shit. We didn't put sunscreen on yesterday. My shoulders, my neck, my, forehead my nose but we got sunscreen today on i got this on today got my hat on and then i'm obviously gonna have my shades on but i don't know i'm excited i think this is gonna be a really good place i think that this is gonna be kind of like the the trip changer and hopefully we can just get it done catch some really cool species and just film an awesome video for you guys so i appreciate you guys clicking on my videos day in day out if you guys aren't be sure to subscribe to the channel right down here our charters are coming up as well and those are gonna be insane so hopefully we can get it done i'm excited i'm a little bit nervous i really want this day to be like a redemption day but yeah so i'm gonna put this camera in the car throw you guys in the chest and let's get it all right guys it's a little bit loud but we are at the spot got my rods we're gonna start by catching some bait and then go from there how are you feeling feeling good you gotta get bait a lot of other people here though that we could literally ask for bait if we can't, I don't think we're gonna have any issues. Got something? Nice time. Nice, nice. nice. So we Oh, so what a catfish! Awesome, Justin, catfish. Perfect. Saltwater cat. There it is, bud. Dude, this is bait right here. Guys, think about it. This is this is our bait. We're about to go put it over there in those senators. Oh, okay. uh, it goes in the middle. Yeah, yeah, it goes oh, in here sure. behind the other one. Two sure. days they painted all the shit down here. Yeah. Yo, I just got thumbed. Did you? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, there's a huge slit in the bottom of it, dude. Wait, where are we supposed to go? Talk to me, bud. Just threw out. Sink the shark away. What's been going on? Blue runner head. What's been going on all day? He's been trying to catch bait. People are all running around, and then the tide changes, so you can't get your bait down right. But um, I don't know. Let's see if the shark takes. Guys, this is literally a shit show filled with people. It's just super hard to control your bait, and it's hard to talk because it's loud as hell. I'll talk with you guys if Justin hooks up. What happened? Got hit. You got hit? Casey. Yo, real. Casey's on. Yo, real. There you go, buddy. Come on. Whoop it. Whoop it. Whoop it. Move these rods. Move these rods, Tommy. Oh, Jesus. There it is. Come on. You got a thing, dude. Come on, real, dude, real. Come on. Casey, pull up, reel down. Come on. He's getting in that one. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Come on. Real, real. Let me go. Real, There you go. Little one. Man, that's a little one. You got work. My oh, shit. oh God, never mind that. <laughs> 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 Come on. Keep cranking, there you go. Keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. 
Get up, get up here, get up here. Keep his head up in the water. Or right, he's going to do that again. All right, keep him there. Are well, you going to get a net? Oh, uh, no, we got, got one. a net. <laughs> All right, here, keep him right there, keep him right there. No way, dude. Yeah, I told you I was getting smoked down there. There you go, like, bud. They're sucking grouper. <laughs> Third ever saltwater species. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I gotta net this dew right quick. Right. Appreciate right. it, man. Hey, know what you're doing here? Can you net it? I'll help you bring it up. I'll steer the fish, alright? I got you. You ready? You got this, bro? I got you. Over. Yeah, I'm gonna steer it for him, alright? Yeah. You want some help, Preston? <laughs> you're a little old for this. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> you can't eat this. No, he knows. Oh. Baby Goliath. There you go. All right, help him. All right, got him in the net now. He's in the net. I uh, appreciate your help, man. Apparently from Des Moines. Really? Well, oh, that side of Oh, you know Moline? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit Yo, quick picture. Quick picture. Get ready. All right, you see, hold him like that. Yeah. Like a musky, yeah? Hold that bitch. The bigger. Excuse me, man. Sorry. Hey, see, how do you feel, bud? Do you have pumps? Huh? First Bofin Goliath? Bofin trained me well. This is your first ever saltwater fish, correct? Uh, three ever species. Uh, I got that moray, the saltwater catfish, and... Oh, get it, oh it's gonna release. Right. I just took the big grouper. I, th I think it was probably bigger than Casey's. We could at least control Casey's. This one, zero control. And uh, got me in one of these pillars, came off. Aggressive strike, I felt my bluefish starting to run out. And then it, my rod almost came out of my damn hands. Yeah, it was nice. Casey! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Take this rod! Dude, take the rod, Casey! Oh, oh. So I don't want to throw a senator. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No way this stays there. Yeah. Um, doesn't that sound like a good idea though? See that bridge yeah. underneath the bridge? Just toss a balloon rig out. Just let it drift the whole middle, dude. Yeah. I you might that. actually smoke a hammerhead doing that. You might want to use this. Just it. Me. You got this, buddy. Ah. Ah. Feel, buddy. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. You got this, buddy. Right? Yo, should I go get that guy? Yeah, damn. I gotta film now. Oh my god! No. We, yeah. we gotta walk him down. We gotta walk him down. Oh. Hey, Casey! Yeah. We got it, honey. We got it. <laughs> no, the hook. Smoked it. Oh my god. It was such a random eat, dude. He's moving the hammerhead. Real, real, real. Oh, don't, don't stick, Tommy's on a grouper. Oh, oh. There you go. Nice. You got this. You got this. Flip, flip. Hey, man. Yo, help me with the rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got another one. Easy film. I am. I got the hook set.
Yeah. You got it? Did you see that book there? Yo, I got that on film. Finally, guys, three groupers one day. My heart is pounding. Definitely difference from fighting him on a boat but last year in the Keys. That one was definitely a lot bigger, but honestly, it felt a lot like the same fight only because of how we had to fight it. I mean, I was getting very discouraged. We're filming on my phone. We didn't bring the camera. That's all right. Hey. Thank God. Time for lunch, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we are actually at another spot. The Goliath Grouper fishing went amazing today. I went in not that confident, only because there's just so many people. It's pretty chaotic and just to kind of, did I really think that we were gonna catch one? Yes and no, but to get three and all of us get one was honestly very, very insane. I mean, I just was not expecting that. Mine, I caught the last one and mine came a lot later because I had, the rods were just in Casey, so I obviously let them go first and then it just took me a little bit, but I got it done. Honestly, it was an unbelievable fight. I was absolutely dead from it. And I didn't bring my camera out there just because, guys, there are, were so many people. I didn't want to keep leaving my camera. And a lot of the guys were telling me out there that stuff gets stolen out there all the time, too. Like, right when we came in there, like, that's what people were saying. So I wanted to leave the camera there. I want to give a huge shout-out to Follow the Action for sponsoring and paying for this entire trip. We'd not be down here without them. What a successful day for day three. To get it done, three Goliath groupers went from zero to hero and really kind of kicked off this trip in the right way. We have not really caught anything too big. Justin, obviously, we've hooked some big fish. He had that 200-pound tarpon on, and we've had stuff like that. But other than that, we really haven't landed anything too big. I mean, I think our biggest before that was an eel, and I honestly haven't really been catching much either. It's just, that's another thing. We are literally burnt to shit. My shoulders, my neck, everything. So, I don't know. I'm at a loss for words for this day. It was definitely a cool-ass day. Tomorrow, we're gonna be heading out with a guide for offshore stuff, and then we're gonna be coming in to fish for black tips, spinner sharks, bull sharks, goliath groupers again, but we're doing all that from boat. So again, big shout out to Folly Action for booking that trip. I'm super excited just to kind of really get into this trip, catch some awesome fish. Wait, 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 saw it again. I'm pretty sure I just saw it again. Zoom in the flashlight. Yeah, focus it. Wait, up, up. Guys, we should maybe go over to those docks. And cast the current? Yeah. Guys, Casey's hooked on right now. We literally just pulled up to this boat ramp right now, and Casey's hooked up. That's no stinger, right, Casey. If it was a stinger, you would get dumped. I bet it's a big old nerf shark, too. Yeah, you're gonna wanna take it to this beach. Wait, dude, you're hooked on someone's line. Oh my god. Dude, Eagle Ray! <gasps> Justin, Justin, <laughs> Justin, hold this. Hold my rod. Yeah, there is. I got your pole, Casey. Okay, I'll help you. Wrap it around this so we don't- No way, this Yo. is Here, hold the rod then. This is a big stingray. No, it's not a big. This is a stingray, there wouldn't be head shakes. It's got a, it's got a big nurse. I cannot believe you're hooked on someone's line, dude. Someone lost this fish. All right, guys, there so- it is out there. It's a big nurse, dude. Dude. All right, guys, so Casey casted out oh, his line sure. and he oh, snagged wow. this other line right here. He literally snagged this other line right here, and Open there's a bill. fish on it. Whoever said nurse sharks don't fight hard is crazy, dude. Run over there. Go. Oh. Run, run, run. Run over there. Can you see? Th this oh. way, this way. Oh, shit, my bad. Got big nerve. Make sure it's not hooked over. Just find it from here. What's what's wrong? That line's unraveling. Well, I mean, this isn't really the best situation ever. Are you reeling in the wire? I don't have wire. Oh, you don't. This is wild, actually. Well, I do, but it's all the way over there. I mean, what are the chances of that? Right. Up. <laughs> that's a big nurse case. It's like six feet. <laughs> Hi. I'm the dad. 
There you go. Hold on, Case. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Watch. Make sure your bait doesn't hit one of these posts. Let's go check out the shark real quick. They're so cool, man. I love nurse. Keep the light on it. It's a big ass nurse. Keep reeling. You got to reel. Seriously. You're gonna have to hand line it. <laughs> it's got. It's so big. It's got freaking. Keep, keep, keep the light on it, Justin. Justin, you're gonna, you should go in and grab the tail. Yeah, I'll reel it more. Did it come off? Oh, it counts. He touched it. You got him, video? All of that. <laughs> no, he's not off. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get in our line, I'll jump the This isn't the battle place for this because he's going to hurt himself bad. Get back over here. You guys got a YouTube channel? Yeah. He's got the big one, McGrath Fishing. Nice. Check you guys out. Appreciate that. Justin, talk to me. It's a giant nurse shark, dude. That's like so, what's going on? That's one of the biggest nurse sharks. So, Casey had a bait out because we saw this nurse shark and he's hooked the line that was attached to the nurse shark. So, someone lost this. Now he's got that line and it's like, it's a big nurse shark. <laughs> Did you see me wrangle it? Yeah. <laughs> Almost, dude, it slapped the shit out of me with its tail. Tommy. I have to walk back now. All right, I'm gonna try again, dude, but. Wait, Casey, mean? you should fight, fight it a little bit more so you don't get broken off on this. Well, nice drag up. Casey, you want to get a double pick with this? Yeah. You're done, buddy. No. 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 Casey, you should walk back more. Walk back more. Walk back. He's trying so hard. Line broke. Line broke. Line broke. Oh, shit, they got one shot, yo. He's gone now. He's gone, two blood clock. That thing was hard as shit to pull up on the concrete, man. Because it's grippy. Casey, what's going through your head right now? Oh, uh, first step for shark catch, I guess I can say. Um, <laughs> kind of felt bad because it still has a hook in its mouth, but I mean, it wasn't my line. I mean, the problem was trying to drag him up on that. Yeah, I tried to drag him up down this. We didn't want to hurt the shark at all, but I guess Justin touched it, so it counts as a catch, so sweet. Yeah, first, it like three, four times. first shark catch. That was big, like 80. I'd, I'd say 80 to 100. Yeah. I didn't really get like the the best look. I was watching it through the camera. I think the whole about time. 100 town. Let's just say 100 town. Say for nurse shark, that, that was like 80. What pounds. shirt you got on? Huh? Lucky Redfish shirt from FTA. Check this out. Look at the design. Sick hand drawn design. All made in a uh, shop locally in uh, Crystal Lake, Illinois. Why are you talking yeah. like that? I don't know. Where's the knife? <laughs> trying to seem cool for your. And guys, remember this is the same days of live troopers. Our fight right here, and it's gonna run us out to the other side of the fucking thing. I guarantee it. I'd like to do a big shout out to Pepno Bismol without it. I think I'd be uh, bending over those bushes over there throwing my ass up. All right, guys. Watch out. Go, Justin's go, go. hooked up right behind us. Run. Bring her in, buddy. Yo, I don't know how. Bring her over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, watch out, watch out. Bring her in, buddy. Alright, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I was in the bathroom. I came back. Justin started this fight. He was nice enough to give me this rod to fight it because this is my rod. And I had a piece of Blue Runner head or like a chunk of the head out there. Justin decided to close my bail and loosen the drag and it started ripping, he said. So then I came out, 
Justin, how long have you been fighting this before you handed it off? Pretty good while, dude. We went from all the way over there to here. This is 100% a team effort fish. I started it, he'll end it. Hold on, I need to get past you. It's... Dude, I'm excited to see this thing. It's heavy as shit. Dude, it's seriously heavy Casey, as can you even see back there? You might want to come out here with us. I just don't want to slip and fall with the camera. Dude, you won't. I was nervous about standing out here too, but... It's heavy as f***, Tommy. I'm, I'm excited. <gasps> oh. Casey! <laughs> Dad, that's a stingray. <laughs> no, they're mother... <laughs> that's mine! Now it is. He's here. Casey's he's got an eagle ray. I got Yo, I gotta stop recording then. Okay, so maybe an eagle ray. I still got this nurse shark. Oh, you can take it out. What about the bar? It's right there. Oh. See it? I'm not gonna get fing stabbed in the face, right? No promises. Same mouth I killed the crocodile on. No, that was a southern southern. southern, 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 southern. <laughs> you got sandals. Grab it by the gill place and bring it in. Here. Right here, Justin? Yeah. Goodbye, my beautiful animal. Let it revive. All right, so Casey's releasing that eagle ray right over there. And this is still the same fish that Justin started with and I'm still battling. It's pretty much in this launch area. We're using cup bait. Cup blue runner. I hope my phone's on the end of that dock over there. All right, so this is still the same fish that Justin literally started off with and when I came back and I'm still going with it and it's huge. So we're gonna try and get this landed. Pick with this here. Oh. Giant. It's even bigger than the last. Full move here by Casey. So I'm just grabbing his by the tail and bring him up. Kind of feeling ballsy. Yeah. Dude, this thing is fighting so damn hard. Oh. You got this, buddy. What? You got this, buddy. Don't Dude, love. This is my first shark of the trip. Technically, Justin helped me out. What? Start backing up. Guys, this is a big nurse shark. I'm going to run it back as far up as I can. Okay. So just keep coming? Yeah. It doesn't break my wrist. Just be careful. Try to tighten the drag or no? Just a little bit. Higher. Oh, you got it. Crank, 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 crank. Walking crank, walking crank. Nice, buddy. There you go. That a boy. Guys, this is absolutely insane. Casey's got a nurse shark tonight. I got a nurse shark. <laughs> and Casey just landed an eagle ray. All on top of this whole battle. This is insane. Come on, Justin. Here, Justin, just let it go. I'll walk it back again. Yo, I need the gloves, kind of. So I can really grab this ray. Or the mono. In your back. Right there. You guys have a channel or something? Yeah, McGrath fishing. Nice. What? Casey, you need the keys. They're in my pocket. Keep backing up now. I need to be able to grab the mono. What in the world is that? Yeah. I'm not a 
Got a boy, Justin. Make that fish your bitch. <laughs> Bringing him back. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Got it? Help, go! Help! Help, help, help! I'm coming, help, I'm coming! Help! Bend down. Grab the tail. Team effort. Hiya. Team effort caught fish, guys. This has got to be, I'd probably say this is taller than me. I'd say this is probably a seven foot, seven and a half feet. Would you agree? <laughs> yeah, it's six feet. I'd say six feet. All right, we're going to snap a few picks and then get this thing right back in. This is my first shark of the trip. Absolutely insane to have this be my first shark because it's a giant tail. Okay, so I mean, look at this tail. Oh, let's get a pick. And he's off right away. Let's go. Good job, buddy. Double up. Let's get another. How do you feel? Crazy, man. Eagle Ray and Nurse Shark. Say again. Eagle Ray and Nurse Shark at once. Nutty. Absolutely insane, guys, to get my first shark. Obviously, with the help of Justin starting that off. And during that whole thing, Casey lands an Eagle Ray, actually, what we're targeting, two species we were both targeting. I feel amazing. I caught my Goliath grouper today and like a seven foot nurse shark, pretty badass. So I'm hoping we filmed enough of that. It was absolutely chaotic doubling out. We had no one to film. So I'm hoping we at least got a majority of it, which I think we did. It's just there's some parts we couldn't film. But again, the fight went on for so long, it was gonna have to be cut down anyway. So I'm gonna put the camera down, take off these wet socks and keep fishing. <laughs> Sorry about the delay, bud. You're all right. You can be late. We just can't be late. Other than that, Tori, Spencer. Nice to meet you. Cool. You guys made it. Oh man, guys, we're here. <laughs> we're a little bit late, but this guy's cool as hell. So we're only late because we trying to get the package from the hotel. That took forever, and now we are here though. So that's all that really matters. We are at the first spot. We took a, not actually, probably about a half mile to a mile run. And we were about to drop down and hopefully this starts off with an absolute bang. So I'm excited. I got with that tingling feeling down south. Here we go. Pro Jackson! Pro Jackson! <laughs> Woo! Start the camera, first drop. Welcome to Palm Beach. Captain Tori. You guys are gonna have a great day, but we're gonna catch you some nice dinner. This is one of our fantastic Those are great eaters. yellow tail snappers. Do you ever want to just, do you ever want to just hold it like this? Or do you, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh, that's oh, that's oh. That's a good one right there. Oh, I just got a shark. What should we do? <laughs> what should we do? Nothing. Hold him. 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 Hold him.
On the wrong rod, though. Oh, this is our base. This is like a flashback to last night. Wait, I'm gonna get spooled. Is that all right? Hey, boys. This is your. Really wrong rod, guys. Wait, do you guys care if this gets full? Oh, yeah, dude, he's on the aisle, huh? Oh, that's good. I'll put more braid on it. Yeah. Right over, oh my god, this real skull thing. Alright, so just had one on, but I got sharked, unfortunately. Absolutely spooled the reel, just, just kept ripping drag. Unbelievable, but the fish are hitting, guys, and here we go. They're getting a bigger rod down. Okay. Look at that, literally spooled all of that line. So this is fun as though. I'm excited, I wanna get on some big fish. We caught some sharks last night, but to do this off a boat now, get some goliaths, some bull sharks, some other sharks later. But what we're trying to do right now is obviously get bait so we can do this stuff. So that's why you see me, Casey, and Justin, and first mate, Spencer, and obviously Kevin Torrey's working the boat. But we need to get some bait so we can keep doing this and catch more sharks, more goliaths. That's what we're using for bait. I'm excited, guys. out here. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tommy. Get his ass, bud. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
It's heavy as hell. Dude, look this would him. be my biggest fish ever. Yeah. My other one was a 300 pound glass trooper. Oh, that's just okay. Then walk him this way. Yeah, yeah. And get you. Oh, let's, let's put you, I'll let you leader your fish in too. Take this. Not your leader. You're going to pull the leader that way. And you can go shoot from that side. shark my biggest fish ever and we have the camper let's go
ready for the next bull shark. And this is called the haywire twist right here. You just want to make a loop like that and then make a V in the wire like that. And just pinch and twist a couple times like that. And then when it's about that high, you just straighten it and turn it 90 degrees like that. And then start wrapping it. It's like you've done this a time or two, eh? Yeah, a couple times. And then this is called the bicycle. You bend this a 90 degree angle and turn just like that. Pop the clean off. Another bull shark. We are back on. Got our second bite. Let's see what it is. Mine away. Yeah, on. Here, can you take this one? How are you feeling, Justin? I think it's heavy as shit, dude. Is that low gear mode? I've seen the low gear or the high gear. guys just got another shark uh, they said it was like 250 to 300 pretty tough fight working it with the wave so got it pretty quickly and uh, yeah it's good shit all right guys well second shark landed they said that was about a 300 pounder so total of two sharks 700 pounds and they said wait till we catch one 700 pounder so we're probably gonna go after a few more and then we're probably gonna start switching to the uh, spinner and black tips off the beach a little bit so I want Casey to get his Casey's honestly Doing an awesome job filming these shots. This video's gonna, I already know it's gonna turn out insane. So 
Big shout out to Casey, shout out to Justin for them coming down, helping me out with this trip and this charter is awesome. Also shout out to Kevin Tory and Spencer. So hopefully we can get a few more and then we'll switch it up to black tips and spinner sharks off the beach where we first started, where we were looking for them. So, all right guys, we gotta catch a little bit more bait for, for Case Dowg. Here we go. Beer. Oh, wish no more. We do that beer. No what? What you want, bud? Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> wish no more. <laughs> Come on. Guys, all inclusive charter right here. Real lucky charters. Supplying the, the dilly dillies. Turn, 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 turn. Turn. You'll see him come up on the surface. Let me know turn. if you're gonna start flooring it so I can hide the camera. Nope. Turn. Turn, don't let this go. Just turn. You gotta turn. Fast. Fast as you can. Come on. Turn. 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 That's what happens out here in Palm Beach. Every single drop. The tax man taxed us. Tax man taxed us. Nice that's all we get back. 15 pound amberjack. Will we pounds. keep that for bait? Yeah. Yeah, that's great shark bait for the beach later. Oh yeah. We had another one on, but unfortunately that one got a shark again. So nothing we can really do about it. Uh, it looks like a storm's moving in, so we might have to head back in just a little bit, but we are gonna be coming back out. So, but then when we come back out, we are gonna be doing the black tips and spinner. So that is insane either way, finding that fish. It's absolutely crazy.
real fast. Just real fast. Just, just real. Just real. Yeah, hurry. Come on, fast. Oh my god, my arms are fall off. Keep on it, it's a black one. Keep on it, keep on it, it's a black one. Stop, Spencer. Stop, Spencer, stop. Leave me in this Spencer. Oh, you go eating Wahoo and fuck. We're eating tuna right now when we go to lunch. They're gonna make a poke bowl out of that. Like that? Look at that. 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 Yeah. Look at that. One of the most exciting things about our deep water wrecks is they have a ton of black tunas on it. This is one of our prime eating. This is one of our favorite lures that we use. A That's butter. our Daiwa Zebra Butterfly Jig, 110 gram. Replace the hooks with wire hooks, just in case that that. Look how big their eyes bite. are because of their nocturnal feeding at night. This is my first ever tuna, guys. For real, this is my first ever. We're gonna bleed them out and we're gonna take tuna? them into. Can a I get a picture with this? See how this marine is taking them. A marina, they're gonna cook them for. They're gonna make a poke ball for them. Guys, check this out. So we literally just stopped at the sailfish marina where we were actually fishing for jacks that other night that you saw. Check out this bathroom. So we're actually here to eat food though, then we're going back out, but check this out. I have my own sink in there. This Look at this. Insane. Wild. Dude, those stalls are nice as hell. Casey, that's your bathroom. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Only in Palm Beach County can we take a breather. Caught a beautiful black fin. Let's pause and come and eat them at this wonderful restaurant. Today we have the most exquisite tuna pokeball with our sponsor Poke King. We moved over into the sesame encrusted tuna and we serve this medium rare. There's a pretty picture. And this young man over here was just so excited to have a bite. He wanted to show everybody at home what your tuna bite would taste like. Solid. That's solid. Really good. I'm gonna go ahead and slide into my Avocado, scallions, fresh tuna, pokey sauce, sesame seeds. Mm. Sesame, the freshness of the tuna, and you cannot have a bad bite out of it. No matter which bite you try, it's absolutely delicious. Would you like a bite? <laughs> Hand fed. <laughs> I'll have one more. Spencer, put the phone down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in for the first bite. Literally, this was caught like 30 minutes ago. Fresh as it gets. Unbelievable. So good. Little rum runner. Solid. How's the fresh tuna? Amazing. Little Absolutely black, amazing. little black fin tuna catching cook. Mm-hmm. Avocado with good soy. Shit, man. Teriyaki. Drizzle. Solid. Very solid. What would you think? When you catch it and eat it right away, it's very hard it's to quality. beat. Quality. Can't find a bad very bite. Very quality right here. Spencer shows a nice big bite to finish it off. Spencer. Spencer's full, but he's gonna do it. Come on, Spencer. Yeah, champ. champ. <laughs> as fresh as it gets here, as right? Palm Beach, baby. Alright guys, we are leaving the restaurant. We are getting back on the boat. We are going back out right now for the spinner sharks and also hopefully some black tips. There are sharks everywhere in this area. We just got blown up, absolutely launched out of the water. I'm about to go. I'm about to go on this one right here. We just free jump right there. Do you see that? Guys, there's sharks jumping everywhere too, so I'm gonna shut my mouth, stop talking, and hopefully I got the GoPro on. Hopefully we get hooked up here. These are giant waves. And hopefully we can land one of these things and get an awesome pick and just get this shark in the boat because these sharks aren't going to be too big to the point where we can't land them. So hopefully we get them done. Talk to me. So basically Captain uh, Tori threw out a cut bait on the bottom. And within seconds it was picked up and uh, 
got a shark on. Pretty cool fight, actually. Um, my second shark species now. She's pissed off now. Oh, there she is, jumping. She's jumping like crazy out there. All right, guys, this fight's going to last a while. I'm going to come back to this one. All right, guys, so we were just doubled up. Unfortunately, the audio got all screwed up on that one because we just watched it back, and my GoPro died. But it's not like we landed it, so it's not a huge deal. But we are zero for three right now. We have three bites, but we have not had, We don't have one landed yet, but that was pretty cool to double up. Uh, my rod went off first, then Justin's balloon shot down. So it was a sweet double up for sure, but we have not landed one yet. I'm... I have very good confidence. I mean, we've already hooked three. We've only been here for about 25 minutes. Um, hopefully we can keep going now. Here we go. Guys, we're doubled up right now. Again. Justin's on, yeah, for the second time. Justin's on, I'm on. Doubled up again. We've gotten bit on every single bait we have thrown out. We just need to land one now. Real lucky right here. Let's see if we can get lucky on this one. Justin, how you doing up there? <laughs> what? Big? Justin, are we about to cross? No. Is yours going towards the beach? What? Justin thinks he's about to get spooled. No, not about to get, I'm just getting spooled. <laughs> Down to a black tip, and so is Justin. We're doubled up right now. Were you lucky fishing charters? Doubled up on black tips right off the beach. I think these, I think these ones are big. Yeah. Would you say so? Yeah. Mine feels like it's got some weight.
what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have keep my GoPro going, but I don't Casey set it on the camera because this fight is letting on for 20 minutes. So, case this camera will come back on, we'll get the shark closer. For now, we're gonna come to the chest, and that's it. Video or actually take a pic, take a pic. Take some good ones. Tap my jersey, tap like my rod and shit. Yep. You're gonna walk around and around and around and around. So here's what we're gonna do to finish up the show. We're not gonna let everybody see us gapping up. We'll get footage of them by the boat. And to make it easy, gap, I'm gonna to grab behind his back like this. And lift him up. And turn like the by the like side thing. Excuse over. me, Tommy. Yeah, but under his, in his gills. What's up? Because. One of the things you'll learn with gas you're going to get really big and you pull those sharks and you don't have to connect. You get any backlash for that, that their shark at no? Now what, like 25, 30 minutes? Mine's still way the hell out there. Justin's getting his a lot closer, so we will definitely show his being landed before mine. Don't jinx it like that. You're fine. This is absolutely insane, guys. I don't want to pull too hard because I really don't want to snap this one off. I've already lost two of them. But in total, we've already lost like five. Justice is coming up right now. Casey's filming up there. Here he is. Look at the black tips. Black tip baby. Yeah, we're fine. We don't need the gaff. We're not hurting them. Okay. There you go. All right, so here's one of our black tips. If you grab them carefully and know what you're doing, you can grab them like this and not hurt them. You can pull them up. See how nice they are. Big fish, come behind me. Show everybody your fish, open his mouth up. There's the black tips. Pull his nose. We don't hurt them. We just it's a catch and release fishery. Great fish. Everything's cut off. They smell too. They pee out their skin. Wait, can we get a sweet picture for Justin on that one? Yeah. You gotta watch his mouth. Get away from him. He'll bite you. Yeah, come over here by me. Just push him over and hold his body a little bit. I ain't gonna let him, I ain't gonna let him bite me. That's all. Get behind me and take a picture so I can let him go. All right, so Justin just got his black tip landed. I actually think this was a black tip too because it wasn't jumping a whole lot. And I've been betting on this one for a while now. I've been babying him a lot just that I really don't want to lose it. And I honestly wanted to wait till we got that fish in and released so it didn't create a shit show. But I'm definitely getting this one a lot closer and then I'll start putting more hammer to it. Oh, you see him jump in? Oh, wait, that was a different one. Big 
Big head shakes, big head shakes. Coming back. Dude, this is lasting forever. So this, this clip's been rolling for 20 minutes. I've been hooked up for about 35, 40 minutes now. He's probably 20 feet from the boat. We're here for you, buddy. Yo, your face got pride. I can feel it. My nose, especially right here. In your cheeks. Forehead, too. Forehead's trying. Dude, come on. Hey, don't see that. On my run, I'm going to be absolutely mean to it. Yeah, that's why I'm not doing yeah. it. Like the nurse, the nurse last night, dude. I was literally like full weight back. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's a really nice one. All right, I want to put the meat to it so bad. I just don't want to lose it. What? When we get a lot of these next time we go to Sebastian too. For real? I'm not saying we should have definitely, well you were feeling shitty. But I was f***ing. That was really good. Like, I was not even feeling shitty, like I was f***ing. A lot of bowls there too. Yeah, we're getting real ready now. Alright. See how I turn it that quick? Yeah, they're pretty easy to turn that quick. No, that's the f Dude, 
Sharks in sight, guys, right there. Forty-five minutes. We got coolies. Yeah, where you are. Can we get another pick? Bring them up again. Of course. Is he getting this? Yeah. Right in the corner of the mouth. Black tip shark ever, and it's a good one too. So we're gonna get the shark back in, and that's gonna be it. Ready? Yeah. All right, guys, we'll give you the official outro when we get back to the dock. I can't. That was a 45-minute fight. I can't even breathe right now. We'll talk to you guys soon.
All right, it ain't Justin's bait, guys. Got that big. Did he get it yet? Got it in his mouth. Not to eat it. Freaking ripple! I have a circle hook. Oh! Here you go. Oh! Time to drag! Get him! Stingray. Kissy, heads up, heads up. Okay. Alright, um. Come around back that car, grab the gloves and everything. Yep. Yeah. Caught me, bud. Got a giant stingray. Actually, he's not even the biggest one. He's fighting almost harder than the grouper. Stay just like that, dude. All right, guys, Justin's hooked on for their first race. Actually, not even the biggest one that's at the ramp right now. But this is going to be the first. This is a southern ray, correct? Yeah. What? He's stuck to the bottom. Uh, 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 holy shit. How are you feeling? He's stuck to the bottom. <sighs> We're gonna go live on the Instagram right now too guys. Instagram always sees it first. I'm going live, Casey said I was holding down. Bud, you're on the live on the Instagram, what do you got to say? Uh, I can't even say. Watch out. Watch See, baby's on a big one for sure. He's on a huge southern ray, guys. Giant stingray. Someone said you need to hit the gym. I don't think you understand how big the southern ray is and how hard they fight. And one thing they do is they stick to the bottom and Guys, it's like, this, look, this is literally a shark and glide through bro. This is a pen center. It's trying to in a pen alley It's rod. like trying to pull the drain out of the ocean and they stick to the bottom. If you haven't fought one, you're not gonna know. Casey's got two pelicans over there. Oh there he is! All right, guys, I gotta turn this live off. Uh, uh, no, you don't. Been a six minute fight so far, bud. Eagle Ray! Giant Eagle Ray! Giant Eagle Ray, dude! That's an Eagle Ray? No, out there. It's not a way. Casey! He's got pelicans, dude. He... 
I need long pliers. Long pliers. That's a harder fight than a grouper. Is it? Yeah. Go. How do you feel? Awesome. All right, Justin. Casey, no, get down here and take pictures. Here, I got you. Probably 80, 90 pounds. All right, guys, got, now I'd say, close to 100 pound stingray. Southern Ray, is that your first ever? Southern Ray, first ever. I've lost one before. Just want to stick to the bottom right now. Kind of wet. There he goes. There he go, dude. Yeah. That was my hardest fighting fish ever. For real? Yeah. Strongest fighting fish I've had, maybe even for the gear stronger than the bull shark from yesterday. Uh, I came down here to catch one of those in mine because I lost a big one last time I came and just did it. Probably pushing 100 pounds. There's a bigger one there and I saw a massive eagle ray come through when I was fighting that thing. So we're gonna get on more bait and see if they come back through, but amazing fish. So as Justin's over there battling the ray, Casey's over here, what happened? Um, so I have my stingray bait in the water. I'm just gonna run back to the car, get prepared for a uh, safe release of the fish. And uh, pelicans ate my bait, two of them actually. Um, both of them were unharmed, unhooked them, you know, took care of them, flew off perfectly fine, but I hate those birds. Is that man. your biggest bird ever? No, it's actually not. That's surprising. <laughs> He's off, he's off, you're good. It's a jack. It's a giant jack, dude. You're getting your ass kicked by a jack in a second? Hold it out. Hold that shit. Down and out. He's, you don't break that off, we need that. We need that for the shark bait. Justin, it's it's wind up too tightly out here. I can't reel anymore because of the line. You guys catch it? We had just uh, some scraps of this guy came. No wonder I couldn't reel this in because we had too much mono on. Alright guys, we thought Casey had the huge eagle ray on. It's actually a big giant jack. Surprised to catch this actually. Got a pretty big chunk on, but uh, big old Jack ain't complaining. Pretty cool catch. I ain't complaining. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. We were hoping for some more rays, but it didn't happen. But it's still pretty cool to see the first southern ray of the trip get caught. Uh, Justin actually really wanted that species coming down here, so he was able to accomplish that. And Casey's fish was actually that 20 pound jack, which at the time we thought it was an eagle ray, but it actually comes in clutch because now we're going to take that jack to go black tip fish this beach. So that's going to be the next episode. Tom, you want to try doing my, uh, my trick? Casey will try. What Casey do you normally do? This is what happens when you don't catch fish for 24 hours. 
Casey's trying to act cool now because the camera's on. I don't think I'll do that. Yeah, later tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what up? How you doing? How you doing, man? Oh. So, Tommy, nice to meet you. Okay. Right. Hey, you got that FTA on now. Hell yeah. FTA. Always got a rep. Oh, I got a peacock, the first ever. I got a It ain't that big. Dude, no way. I'm on. Oh, Spencer, mine's a nice one. Oh, dude, they're all nice ones. No way. My first ever peacock. Yo, this is a male, right? Yeah, dude, that is sick as shit, man. Yeah, this baits in. What are we, triple up, quadruple up? Triple up, look at this. That's a male right Wait, there. Wait, hold on, hold it just like that. Oh, that's sick. I can't believe you're fishing with a float. Oh, yeah, Justin, talk to me, bud. They're dropping it, too. Oh, I caught a sick lid. I'm gonna get that pee, though. Big one. Oh, my God, it just broke my hook. Huge pee, take this shit. Are you serious? Giant pee. Oh, dude, I'm used to smallmouth. I know how these, all this shit oh, works. Oh, yeah, dude, you got the technique. There you go. That's a big tee right there. Spence, you're the goat, dude. Look at that thing. Look at the lump on him. You got him? <laughs> no way. That's your hook right there. Look at that. He just broke guys, him off. Guys, I just caught the one that broke me off. All right, guys, my second pee. So, look at that. Nice hump on his head. This is my second peacock ever. My first one's a little bit small, but we're gonna snap a few pics of this one. But look at that, look at that pattern, guys. That is a beautiful fish right there. Great job. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we're gonna get a pick, get this fish back, keep it nice, healthy. Catch your release, baby. Here we go. All right, guys, we're putting it back. Here you go. This is small, too. That's gotta be a sick lid. Oh, is that a peacock? Oh, yeah. Dude, these things fight actually pretty hard. They're like bluegill on steroids. I haven't even got one yet. Seriously? Yeah. Hooked up. Dude, this thing is fighting so hard. Another peacock, guys. That's my third. The lows are nasty. I just got. Oh my god! We got him! We got him! That's a monster! Oh my god! That one's ten pounds. I'm hooked up on a giant, guys. Wait, we need that scale on that camera bag. Yeah. Guys, we're hooked up on a giant. It's an absolute giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. Casey, you should. Grab that camera for me, bud, on this one. Oh, dude, that's a really nice one. Are you gonna land him? Oh, look at that, darn. Oh, it might be on the cooler. It's on the left of the cooler. Nice, dude. This is a super nice one, guys. Look at this thing, it's literally just rip and drag. It's going out deep too, it's going out deep. Yo, that's a 10 pounder all day, look at that thing. That's a real one. Bring him right to him. Look at that thing. Casey, watch your head. Holy cow, that one is a real one right there. It's a giant, it's a giant. Very nice. Get your rod out of your No way. Yo, 
Yo. Yo, dude, look that is that a thing. giant. Oh, look at that monster. Guys, look at this. That's Absolute right giant. Now. All right, guys, I landed another giant. I'd guess this one's about five, six pounds. Gonna get a quick weight on this one. Look at these beautiful colors, though. You can tell it's a male by this little hump on his head. This is my biggest peacock ever and my fourth ever peacock. Absolute giant. It is five pounds, five, five and a quarter. We're gonna snap a few pictures and get a safe release on this guy. Here we go. All right guys, so we got kicked out of the spot. We gotta leave. Just landed that five pounder. Absolutely unbelievable. My fourth ever peacock. Feeling great. The bite is pretty good today, despite being windy and the cold front coming through. So hopefully this bite continues and we can put together even something more insane than this. But so far, so good. All right guys, spot number two. Uh, we got kicked out of the last one only because it was like a hospital. So now we're gonna go fish this apparently natural lake, hopefully for some snakehead and peacock again. But I left the camera in the car and we got the crew. Said I love what you're doing. Largy? Largy! There it is, another fish. Guys, I just was taking a piss, gave literally just my rod, right and look what me. happened. Literally right when you told me to set the hammer to it. Nice. nice. I was reeling in my shiner like this, and I had a probably a four pound, five pound peacock come up on the surface and smack my shiner. Oh, I just got oh, smacked. Just got nailed. I just got nailed. Set it, set it, set it, set it, set yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you're on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's the same one, that's the same one. Oh, oh that one just <laughs> Watch your guys' lines. There's one right under it. These things fight so hard. This is. Holy crap, that thing's going mad well. Yeah, this is f***ed up. Oh, look at it. Look oh, at it. Look at it. his head. head. Oh, dude. Oh, Justin, watch your line. Look at the colors of it. He's pretty as shit. Beautiful picture worthy. Look at that colors. Oh, you see the blue on him? Oh, my God. oh man. Yo, look how pretty that fish is right look there. Look at that, guys. I'd say that's probably what, two, three pounds? That's a four pounder, three nah, pounder. That's, like three. that's a three. Let's say yeah. three. One last look on the GoPro. Beautiful colors. I got a spot in the tail. Oh, check that out. All right, here we go. We got a female and a male on that bed. About to breed, probably. Look at how colorful they are. So, guys, remember, this is the male with the hump. That's got no hump. Female that's a female. With no hump. Look at beautiful. beautiful right, let's, get, let's get a sweet release right here. Just like this, swims right off. Guys, I missed the hook set, but it was literally just ripping. My my bail was open, I just felt it peeling off. So, but I got it on now. Spencer's about to land it. He's got the FTA hat and hog hunter on. Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably a three and a half, right four there. pounder. Yeah, that's probably three Wait, hold it just like that. Guys, look at this. Look at this fish. Beautiful, another male. Another four pounder in the books. Look at this guy, right back in. Guys, look, look what Casey just pulled out of the water with his bare hands. But yet you're afraid to grab a bowfin. That thing smells like shit. Watch out, Big J's here. Big J's here. Guys, it's pretty cool going back to my roots. Right when I walked out here, I looked at Justin, my dude, like, this is totally my element. All right, guys, we're gonna head to the bait shop, go get some more shiners, and actually head back to that medical center, hope for the best. But we just slammed a bunch of peacocks there. As you guys saw, we probably have 30 plus so far for the day. So I'm gonna go get some more shiners and then head back to that spot and hopefully some more giants. But it's already been unreal, knocking off a bucket list catch for me, another species for me. And yeah, so uh, I will see you guys at the bait shop. All right guys, we are back at this medical center. Uh, I'm gonna leave the camera in the car so it's easier to walk around with just my backpack. We got 10 dozen shiners. So we're gonna head back and hopefully slap a bunch more peas. Here we go. Monster, monster, monster. Guys, he's already hooked up as his first cast. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> it's a giant. It's a giant. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's another one right behind it. Right, right behind mine. There's another one, boys. Oh my Hold God. that up. Dude, that's, that's probably a That's, a that's gotta be an eight. Right Yo, there. Justin, give me some sick figures. Yo. That's oh huge, dude. That's the biggest one I've ever seen right there. That's it. That's it, dude. That's it, dude. That's a world record pee right there. Six pounds, 15 ounces. Look at that. Huge. Huge peacock. What? We haven't even gotten to the rocks yet. This isn't our primary spot. All right, guys, so the biggest of the day so far is a five pounder and now a 6.9. So six pounds, 15 ounces. I think looked way bigger than six. You're that looked like 10, dude. Yeah. What's up, Casey? Slapping them. Decent, probably another two, three pounder. Beat down, meet down, crack down, smack down. Another one. Probably about a two, two and a halfer. Going back in. Right, Justin got his first male. This is what he wanted. Justin really wanted one of those ones with the hump on it. Nice male, bud. Here. That's another four pounder. Oh, he just ate yours. Oh. Stop. Oh. That was insane. That was insane. Because he has a bass and a peacock was just sitting by it and it literally just smoked it on top of the water. There's another one. There's another one. Cast right behind me. Cast right behind me. That's a good one too. Oh my god, I just stepped in a snake hole. Guys, this is literally probably my my 15th of the day. No, no joke. Beautiful male. Beautiful colors. That orange is so badass too. What a beautiful fish. Love it. Love to see it. If you guys want to go check out Casey's six pound, 15 ounce peacock, head over to his channel, CZ Fishing. The link will be in the description below. All right, guys, we're on the other side of this pond now, or small lake, whatever you want to call it. Most, pretty much a pond. Uh, had the GoPro off, but we are hooked up. Another P. Yeah, it's a P. That's a P. Oh, there's one right behind him. I got my line on top of him. Yo, there's, there's one right next to it, it's good. Why is my drag so loose? Check it out, guys. Another P. Nice male. Super bright. Dark colors, too, on top. Beautiful, beautiful P. Peacock, peacock, peacock. Looks like FTA's gonna have to make a peacock shirt. That would be a sweet one. I better see you wear that then all the time. Small P. Right when the small ones start coming out, I think it's time to move down. Another one, a little tiny. Oh. Guys, check that out. Yeah, that's why I kill him. I'm gonna have to start going to that. My thumb is shredded. All right, guys, Casey's over there. Justin's right here. I'm kind of just chilling in this pipe. Mike's right there and Spencer's over there. We're fishing this canal now for these peacocks. There's tilapia in here and also snake heads. I gotta Oh! Oh, that's big. Dude, he killed my baby on I think he got As I was doing that, guys. They're gonna just swing them up. Yeah, yeah. My first canal peacock. Beautiful pea. And then Justin has one right over there. Here's the canal. I'm chilling, fishing. All right, guys, these are our last shiners of the day. 70 plus. We're gonna see if we can finish strong. Gar, I got gar. the gar. Oh, oh, shit. 
Yeah. No way to end the day. This is my last shiner. All right, guys, my first ever gar and my last fish of this peacock mission going back in. This is on. Right as I drew my GoPro off. Dude, it's giant. All right, I'm here to help. You want me to get from the other side of you? You're on max drag right yeah. now? Watch out, watch out, me, watch out. Excuse me. Watch out. Yeah. You guys just need help. Need help? Come on, Justin. Come on, you guys. Spanish. Yeah, all right. All right. Come on. Come on, pump, pump. There you go. Pump, 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 pump. pump. She's running, she's running. It's a giant grouper. Yeah. Giant grouper. I'll be right back. I understand. Yeah. Big ass fly. You're good. Right, right side. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ooh. Hold on. Hold him there. If you can. Casey, you gotta grab on really tight, dude. Over here. Quick. You got it. Surface. Hey, boy, Justin. Uh, you're good. Uh, How are you feeling? Uh, tired as shit. No. Oh. Oh. Dude. 
That was a monster. Good try, man. Good try. Talk to me. Giant, giant Goliath. Uh, I'd probably range it two, three hundred pounds, maybe more. Hard to tell, but definitely wasn't a hundred pounder or anything lower than that. Guys, right, this channel is pretty big, and it was literally all the way out in the middle towards there where that current's ripping. It was on rocks or some what, shit. What pop? Just so you're, that's your notch for a hook. Yeah. No, that's 100 right here. Connecting that probably brushed up against a rock. Look at the 100 sprayed. Justin! Big. Pretty big, yeah. Got the hook set. I got broken off in the pillar for sure. You think that was big? Uh, probably about a, like a 100 pounder. That was decent for sure. I had one for a second and then I got broken off in the pillar, but that's what happens. All right guys, so we got some food a little bit ago. I didn't film any of that. And then we actually went back out to try and get another grouper. Me and Justin did hook up and Justin hooked up on an absolute giant as you guys can tell. We're gonna get a quick word from Justin in a second. But now what we're gonna do, we're on the other side of the inlet, and we're gonna be casting for strictly all sharks now. And then when we go back, we're gonna be fishing that boat ramp again for sharks where I lost that. One where you guys actually saw, let's get a quick word from Justine. Yeah hey guys, it was a giant grouper, uh, hit it in the pilings and just went straight out into the inlet. That's how you know they're huge. Me and Casey couldn't stop it. We were working as a team. He was helping me gain a line, but it got caught in that current. It was just pulling super hard and it ended up taking me in the rocks and snapped off the 400 pound line so that grouper people were saying was anywhere from 400 to 500 felt like it to me but nothing we could do so it was nice hooking it at least all right so i will come back to you guys in the camera when we i guess when we get out there so i'm gonna strap in the gopro toss for some sharks and this does not work out we're gonna be heading back to west palm about an hour and a half drive away we are not gonna be bitches about any night we're gonna stay out i mean we've literally been putting our bodies through hell, staying up late, waking up at 6 a.m. and vice versa. We've only slept in one day. And when, when I say slept in, I mean about like, what, 8, 9 a.m. So, all right, I'm gonna shut my mouth. We all wanna go. Here we go. No way. For sure, God, guys, we've been here for five minutes. 100% still on. Not. Where are you though? Hell yeah, dude. Heads up. Sure you don't want to be here anymore? <laughs> dude, that was nuts. Did you see I couldn't even close my bail? Guys, there are so many jack. There are so many jacks right here. There's got to be 200 jacks in this area. All right, guys. So um, we were here at this really cool restaurant here in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, as you can see around us, there's some monster tarpon and jacks. We're gonna go buy some shrimp from this bait shop over here and drop them down. And try to hand feed them and get some sick shots. But I'm gonna try to catch one by hand. What time do we take off too today? Uh, I think we take off around uh, eight o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's feed these. I don't want to leave. How are you feeling, Justin? I'm feeling excited. Those are some big tarpon. I honestly thought they'd be like 50, 60 pounds, but those things were like 100. <laughs> That's probably what you hooked in the second episode. Yeah. Put it right down. Jeez. Come here. Hey, Yo, I know you want your, it, buddy. Put your hand lower next I want to feed it right into his mouth. Come here. I know you want it. Dude, Casey, come on. Yeah, Justin, show on. Show, show what's up. Oh! Did he get it? Where'd he go? I'm not even sure if he got it. No, I think the jack got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, tell me. He's gonna eat it. Oh. Drop it. Drop it. Eat it. Drop it down. Oh, my God. That was sick. 
All right, guys, this is what we're doing. We're taking these little frozen shrimp. Thousands of jacks, tarpons everywhere. Not a thousand tarpons, but jacks. And watch this. We're gonna, we're gonna walk down the dock a little. Spot a nice tarpon right here. Look, 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 he's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Drop it in the water. <laughs> he's ready. <gasps> oh, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was like the most delayed reaction I've ever seen. Think about what this looks like at night. Guys, it's late, we're back, we're done. I'm actually looking at some footage right now on my laptop. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for sticking with me this entire series, watching this. It was an awesome series of film. I had a ton of fun with Casey and Justin. I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 o'clock p.m. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we are out. Early mornings, late night cruising Up and down the crystal cove And through the uneasy stream Bass fishing, corona drinking we're just out here catching the American dream. Lay back, relax. McGrath fishing is all you need.